welcome again back to my channel uh, today we are uh, in a local patch of forest uh, which has a main road next to it and the reason for me being here today is because uh, uh, I've actually been out lately quite a few times to, uh, to search for a barn owl and I was actually driving I've seen about three badgers now unfortunately they were roadkill but um, that actually gave me hope in coming here and see what I can actually find now it's my first time here so uh, I'm not very optimistic but I've, I, I thought I should actually take you guys with me and uh, and go on this adventure together I'm just trying to look around to see if there's anything going on because it's pretty quiet and uh, hopefully we will find something and uh, we, I might have to actually get a few trail cameras to, uh, to put around and see if I can get any footage. So let's uh, go and uh, explore the forest and uh, see what we can actually get if i don't see any wildlife i will probably try and uh and take a few landscape photos again so uh yeah let's uh let's go i don't know what all these plastic bits or are, uh, are on the ground I assume they were used uh, to grow new trees when they planted new trees, but I'm not sure. So if you know, let me know down in the comments. It's pretty, it's pretty dead, but uh, I can see a few parts in the in the woods that seems to be used by wildlife. I will definitely need some trail cams, so uh, let's keep walking around. exactly as I thought they were actually used to plant trees but there's tons of them around here and uh, they're plastic why would you do this I mean these must be here for ages because I've seen quite some big trees where these plastic tubes actually exploded because the tree is too big to fit in it and there's thousands of them around, uh, literally everywhere, every step, they're, they're literally everywhere around. And this is plastic, so why would you do this? I don't know. So we found our first hole, uh, which seems to uh, be used as usually badgers. If the hole, if the burrow is still active, they keep the entrance clean. So all these dead leaves and everything would have been pushed out. Uh, this one doesn't look active at all, not even for foxes. So usually in old badgers burrows. Uh, their foxes are going in because uh, foxes they don't actually dig their own burrows uh, but this is a good sign and I'm quite happy with this so we'll keep looking and uh, hopefully hopefully today we'll find something that will give me a reason to uh, buy some trail cams <laughs> so let's go let's uh, let's keep looking
Now to give you an update of the barn owl hunt uh, since my last video I did actually find a barn owl uh, I do have a few photos of it uh, quite some distant shots it didn't come close but I've only seen it twice and I've only seen it for a couple of minutes now from the photos I've uh, actually taken and some videos I've actually noticed that there is something wrong with it so it looks like one of the foot is twisted and I've actually reported it to the local national trust a uh, wildlife trust and uh, out of the photos there they think it might be infected uh, I still haven't got an update yet but I assume they will try to capture it now the nice thing about it is that this is not a registered owl so it didn't have a ring so it's a new owl uh, last time I've, I've been there a couple of days ago or yeah a couple of days ago I didn't actually see it it didn't come out so I'm, I'm a little bit concerned uh, now I don't know if it was already captured by the Wildlife Trust or if it actually struggled to hunt and eat so it's actually at risk of dying or, or of starvation which I'm not really happy about but um, hopefully I will get an update soon and uh, everything turns well for the bar now uh, I'll just put some photos and videos so uh, you can see it. Now this one here, it actually looks like a path and by the way it looks, it's quite used. I don't know if you can see it on camera, I hope you do. So this might be actually a very good spot to place a trail cam on one of these trees and maybe this one here looks pretty good. So. Uh, I will actually go in uh, and get a camera, I'll get a cheap one just to see if I get anything and I'll come back here and uh, and place one around and leave it for a, for a week or so see uh, if I get anything. Now this path leads towards the road so the road is right behind you and then on the other side of the road there are some private lands so there are uh, the farmer's land it might actually be a high chance for the badgers burrows to be on the other side as uh, I, I couldn't find anything around even though I haven't been everywhere but uh, I haven't actually found anything to uh, give me hope just some parts but these could actually be used by deers as well so um, I think the next step that I need to do is buy a trail cam and place it on and see what I can get. Well I think this is going to be uh, a little adventure for today. I did not find a, uh, an active uh, badger uh, burrow but uh, I've seen quite some promising signs and uh, I uh, came to the conclusion that I really need a uh, trail camera 
uh, not only for badgers uh, in in general even for fun I've always wanted to see what I get in my garden for example now I know there are hedgehogs coming in the garden but uh, I've only seen them on a couple of occasions um, but yeah I don't usually photograph mammals my main subject for photography are birds and my knowledge in uh, tracking and finding mammals is pretty low so I'm open to any kind of suggestions or advice uh, put them down in the comments and we'll come back and we'll look for the badgers together well that, would, that it is for today it's time to head home I hope you enjoyed this video as well until next week stay safe the lockdown is easily easing up it's going away so uh, just go and enjoy your local wildlife remember to post your photos and videos online for people to see them because not everyone can go out and uh, yeah until next week stay safe and uh, see you around